angered because the only guy that's really acting radical and standing up in a culture war fight is Donald Trump and Ted Cruz to a great part. Ted Cruz is a great man, and Rick Perry's a great man, but Donald Trump is the only guy calling a spade a spade and representing the frustration and the heartbreak at the corruption and the power abuse running amok in our government and media and academia. So everybody out there right now, the best thing you can do is be a member of the NRA, get everybody in your family and at work and at your hunting camp. You, you got to be National Rifle Association members. You have to communicate with your elected officials. I write some bold pieces every week for WND.com, WorldNet Daily, uh, DailyCaller.com, even DeerAndDeerHunting.com, and about 20 sporting and conservation publications. But I don't need to do any of this, Alex. I could just go hunting and go play my guitar and, and teach my grandkids. But you've got to defend. You've got an instinct to not want to be a slave. And you were telling me you're surprised if these newest pieces don't get you a knock at your door. I know this. The NRA was founded to train Northerners how to shoot and arm uh, blacks that have been newly freed. It's had some bad leadership before. But since you got on the board, it's made a really good turn. Uh, since Gunners of America put pressure on them, it's made a really good turn. And if it wasn't for the NRA and what you've done and others, like Gun Owners of America, we would have already lost the Second Amendment. We're one of the only countries that still has it, the right to keep bear arms. And then they act like we're not coming for your guns when they are coming for our guns because they have an instinct to want to dominate men and to want to break the will of America. The parasites that have taken over hate the strength of this country, even though they're living off of it. Uh, they're going to be their own doom if they succeed. Ted Nugent, we got 45 seconds. What's your bottom line? Bottom line is we the people have a responsibility, a moral and intellectual and spiritual obligation to participate in the sacred experiment in self-government. There are heroes of the military dying so that we can. How dare we not do so? I want to salute OperationFinallyHome.org for helping the heroes of the military. And remember, freedom is not free. Get engaged and demand accountability and join the NRA. That is the first step to taking this country back. Well, Ted Nugent, thank you for coming on the broadcast. And you told us you'll come back on a routine basis. We'll continue to track your stories at WND.com, Daily Caller, when they're linked up at DrudgeReport.com. Fourth hour coming up, Infowars.com. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. This is the revolution against tyranny. This is 1776. Bottom line, the social engineers, and the Republicans are part of it too, are involved in class warfare. And they've got people now that work in the system, corporations and government, that actually smoke the dope, that drink the Jim Jones Kool-Aid. And they really believe that it is a race war, a class war. And the people running things really want to create depression so then they can take over and be the total boss, even though they'll destroy the entire country and the world. I mean, I look at the mayors and people that they're electing, and, and you know, I've, I've always been somebody against the Republicans and Democrats, but the Democrats are making their move to take over. They've got the Republicans so intimidated that they're rolling over to it. And so that's why I've thrown my full weight against the Democrats. If we had a Republican in doing anything like this, I'd be doing the same thing. I mean, I thought Bush did some bad stuff and was totally critical and uh, I mean, I mean, uh, this is all so over the top, it makes my head spin. And I hear Democrats go, yeah, we're criminals. Yeah, we want to arrest libertarians and veterans. And yeah, we're going to have a civil war. And then you look at them, they're sacks of weakness. I mean, you think you're going to have some war with the military and the police and conservatives? You're going to kick our butts? I don't care how many federal buildings you blow up and blame on us. It ain't going to fly. That dog ain't going to hunt. So listen to me. I'm a man. I'm not the toughest guy around, but I can, I can take care of myself. I'm not afraid. But I'm not into needless violence. And I'm going to explain something to all you chicken necks out there that think this is cute and funny because you've lived off other people's strength. You try to bring this country down, you keep doing this, you're all going to be held accountable. You want to shoot your mouths off about open season all day? It's going to be open season on you. You keep pushing it. You keep starting it. Believe me. Believe me, you're going to get your ass handed to you. And you're just the useful idiots. The globalists up above you, they're going to be offshore. They plan to wreck the country in the Civil War that will win, the patriots, and then they're going to bring in their people after. 
show. We got Leanne McAdoo uh, co-hosting with Rob Dew coming up uh, out of the new studio or out of the old radio studio. We got a new studio being built as well, bringing the fourth hour back. And um, let's go ahead and throw to that control room. I should have asked who's even hosting the fourth hour today. I've been so busy, uh, you know, covering all this news. I didn't get to it, but there, pardon me. And oh my God, I'm talking to my ear. They're bringing in a world system. The globalists are bringing in a tyranny that doesn't need humans. At the end of all the race wars and the police wars and the deindustrializations and the plagues and all the rest of it is the rise of the machines, the AI. This has all been stated. So you're not on some winning socialist team run by a bunch of offshore billionaires who are connected to the most horrible stuff you can imagine. You're idiots. Become pro-human. Start believing in the unborn. Start believing in yourself. The truth is you're projecting. You hate yourselves, so you hate everybody else. See, I love myself, and I love you. I want to see you win. Leanne McAdoo, I see you in there in the control room. Are you co-hosting? Let's punch Leanne McAdoo up. She's a lot more interesting to talk to than me. Leanne, tell me about some of what's uh, coming up today. I know I'm just springing this on you. I saw I'm sitting you down in there. Uh, tell me tell me what all's coming up in the fourth hour today. Well, we're going to be talking a little bit about just the ISIS threatening to send 500,000 migrants to Europe, psychological weapons. Well, they did it. I mean, they threatened it, now they've ISIS. done it. Why are you being bigoted against ISIS? They have a right to kill women and put bags on their heads. I know. I'm... I'm racist for not inviting them into my home. I've actually put in a petition. I'm going to bring in some ISIS militants. Wait a minute. We should put out a joke petition at WhiteHouse.gov, because they're already doing it in Sweden, calling for the White House to house uh, the Islamic militants. Exactly. Or the Vatican. And they got golden paved streets. <laughs> Leanne, stay there. I'm going to come back and throw it to all of you. As I promised, some days I'll be co-hosting the fourth hour with you. Uh, but Leanne McAdoo. And who's hosting the nightly news tonight, Leanne? Jakari Jackson. Jakari Jackson. I, I can't say his name normally. It's kind of like... No, you can't. And Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> and Marcos Morales. Leanne McAdoo's in the control room. Rob Dew's in the radio studio. I'm in the main TV studio. We're building another TV radio studio so we can cut to reporters with breaking news on the radio slash TV broadcast. And have other guests in studio as well building an entire new center here and by the way i i didn't even plug any products the second hour i was plugging a guy running for sheriff who's a patriot i should be plugging pretty much every segment to fund our operations i want to thank you all for your support but you really should go to infowarsstore.com and get the hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt it says infowars.com legalized freedom on the back so you can talk about Hillary, how she's a criminal, expose the whole criminal system. It's a great way to start conversations and then turn around and show them the back. Infowars.com, legalize freedom. Uh, also, Knockout, that has 10 different compounds in it. I keep saying 10. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, it has 9 in it. Anyways, the point is, it doesn't just have melatonin, it just doesn't have valerian root, it doesn't just have L-theanine. It's got it all in there, and it's the price of regular melatonin or valerian by itself. It'd be like 50, 60 bucks, depending on what brand you bought, to have all these things at the same dosages, and be four or five, six pills you'd have to take. And it's back in stock after being sold out for almost three months. Knockout, and it's not groggy sleep. You're not sleepy when you wake up. I mean, it is just amazing. It's 1995, very affordable. Infowarslife.com. That's two words. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And we are going to sell out. We want to get more, but it's it's not a sales tactic. It's just true. We've been sold out for months of Liver Shield. Uh, and so if you want to do the whole liver cleanse, that's now back available for maybe a day or two more. Um, we've also got back in stock the deep cleanse, simply amazing. These are game changers, folks, to pull out the toxins from your body. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. We have Oxy Powder discounted uh, with the liver shield. They have a lot of specials going right now. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And find all the great longevity products like... 
Pollen Burst and Beyond Tangy Tangerine Organic 2.0 and over 400 other products discounted at the lowest prices anywhere. 30% off when you sign up. It's like a $10 to be a distributor. Free shipping when you sign up. InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com with the specifics of how to be a distributor. That funds the operation as well. Hundreds and hundreds of great items at InfoWarsStore.com. And you can also support the sponsors at InfoWars.com itself. But that's how we're doing this. It's how we're building it. It's how we want to have a small war chest to not just operate on fumes. But um, if I would do my job and plug every couple segments, we would. But that's why I'm doing this now. So I want to thank all of you for your support. Uh, here's what it comes down to. The globalists are scientific about their plan. But their scientific plan manifest their own mental illness, their eugenics, control freak, transhumanist worldviews of playing God. And they disdain themselves, so they're projecting that onto the general public, and by a feedback loop, have done the public down to the level of self-propelled stomachs, goblin-like creatures, beady-eyed demon people. Uh, there was the new Mark Dice video they aired in Overdrive yesterday that I meant to air today where... You know, he goes out and they're like, yeah, you know, let's ban selling the Bible in bookstores and on Amazon. And finally, one guy bows up and says, that's horrible and almost gets in a fight with him. That's a normal response to basically book burning. And I mean, I'm talking well-spoken liberals signed it. That's not liberal. They're like, oh, yeah, let the radical Muslims mutilate their women, sexually put bags on their heads, tell Germans women they can't wear short skirts. But you can't sell Bibles. There's the article, liberals want Bible banned from Amazon. This is the craziness. These people are evil because they get off on the control freakness of saying, yes, I'm with the government, so I want to ban whatever they say. And in the real world, they're moving towards this in Canada and other places and arresting people for their religious beliefs in the U.S. Because... They're in a power cult. They have no power. They're nobodies. But when Mark Dice goes out, and we've gone out and done the stuff before, too, and shown the same thing. Ban dihydrogen monoxide for the earth. That's water. Ban table salt, if we use the scientific term. They all agree. Um, they're ignorant. Uh, put gun owners in forced labor camps. Yes, I agree. Gun owners are evil. Let's put them in a forced labor camp. You're sitting there with someone who, if they take me to a forced labor camp, They'd want their son to have a job there. I mean, these aren't liberals. These people, I keep saying it, but it's only hit me now, are a diabolical group. The Russians were good, hardworking Christian people. They did bad stuff under bad leadership. The Germans were incredibly smart, hardworking, moral people. Under bad leadership, they turned into some nasty folks. And man, I'm here to tell you, I've studied history. I've looked at what the German the Nazis did and the Russians and stuff. We've gone bad, and I think when we rot like rotten milk, we're going to be the nastiest, stinkingest, just filth the world's ever seen. That doesn't mean all of us. But, man, it's time to stop giving lip service and go, you know, I'm not against gay people, but don't try to teach my five-year-old, you know, how to, how to give oral sex. Or why is every show about transgenders and gay people are the boss and because they're the new royalty? Not because they matter to the elites. Hell, the government in the 70s and 80s put in hepatitis shots HIV. That's, that's come out in the news. It's just they're the new group to obsess over as a distraction and to screw our kids up. I mean, this is a bold takeover. Sending in weird feminists to say, you've got to give me a haircut at a barbershop. And they go, man, we don't have the equipment to give you a perm or color your hair. Okay, well, I'm going to go have you fined for discriminating. And they did it. It's about power. Leanne McAdoo, then we're going to throw it over to you and Rob Dew with what's coming up today. I mean, this is getting crazy. China, Russia, the Middle East won't take all these really dangerous, a lot of them, refugees. Uh, a lot of them are Al-Qaeda and terrorist fighters. We have the video up on Infowars.com of them on Facebook bragging that they're, you know, veterans of ISIS and Al-Qaeda. And then Donald Trump comes out and says, man, you got to really admire Merkel. Yeah, we got to take these people in. I mean, this is Freakville. He thinks he's got us on the hook now. Uh, Leanne, where do you see all this going? I mean, I know you don't even see yourself as really as a conservative, more of a humanitarian, more libertarian. I don't want to speak for you. 
being here three years, I mean, uh, and I'm 